Alright guys, this is step one of uh, painting the Proline Brute Bash Armor. I went through it with the steel wool. It's the fine uh, number zero. It seemed to work pretty good. You know, it really gets into all the nooks and crannies. You know, I did it in a sink, or in a slop sink. Because, you know, if you're familiar with steel wool, it can get kind of messy. But it really did a nice job, got it in all the nooks and crannies. And this body definitely is very difficult to paint because I've already tried it without just doing a scuffing. If you can see up here, I, I sanded that with like 150 and really scuffed it up and tried priming it and painting it and the paint just came right off. I mean, just fell off. All you gotta do is just rub it with a paper towel. So I'm gonna go through and you'll see it. I'm gonna do a flame treatment and then I have a adhesive promoter that I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna try painting it so we'll uh, we'll see what happens all right we're gonna start the flame treatment see how it goes here Now you're supposed to spray it down with alcohol. Well, that's supposed to be it. They have a testing that you do. It's supposed to spray water on. I don't have a spray bottle for that, but I'm gonna get something going here. And it's supposed to sheet up the water. If it beads, then you need that. Then the flame treatment didn't work. So I'll I'll probably put that on the video too. We'll see. All right, guys. 
I forgot to record the ad adhesion promoter, but it's on there. It's just clear, so you can imagine what it looked like going on. So now I'm gonna do some, just a black primer. It's not gonna be what my finished body is gonna be. I just wanna get a, a coat on there, just to see if it's really gonna work. And then, you know, like I said, it'll be like a base primer and then I'll do something else. But, so here we go. All right, we're gonna go with that as the first coat, and I'm gonna do some more. So we'll see. Uh, see what happens. all right we're here with the moment of truth see if this paint's gonna stick to the proline brute bash armor these are the products that i used this is the adhesion promoter that i talked about bulldog adhesion promoter paint I used was a Krylon camouflage black. I'm basically just using this for a primer. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet with this car. I have no idea if it was going to stick because I said, you know, in the previous video that I tried painting the top, you know, right here, or I scuffed it and painted it and I was able to just wipe the paint right off with a paper towel. So, you know, you've seen everything that I've done in the video, so now I'm going to see, we're going to start with just doing some twisting, see if it cracks or if anything happens, which seems to be all right, it seems to be holding, 
so let's try this. I'm going to use some tape and just stick it on there and just see if I can yank the paint off. Hey, look at that. I'm going to try uh, one more time. Yep, nothing, guys. It's definitely working. Let's try some of this painter's tape. I think this might be stickier. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. It's definitely working. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't been battled. You can see it still is the, uh, you know, the Brute Bash armor. It's white. It's painted on the outside. I don't want to battle test it because I still do want to paint it. So I don't want to take it out and just grind it on the, you know, in the grass or pavement or something. So, like I said, this is just going to be a flat. I didn't want to put too much time into it and, you know, and then it just flake right off. So. Seems like it's gonna stick, guys. I, the flame treatment is the, definitely the secret. And I, I contacted Proline to find out what this material actually is made out of. And it's HDPE is the material. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. Yeah, I, the one thing I didn't do is I should have videotaped it when I did this, where I was able to, uh, well, here, there's a paper towel. Well, it's wiping off a little bit, but it ain't flaking right off. So. Yeah, it, I contacted ProLine, it's HDPE. And then I started researching how to paint HDPE. And I come across some videos from 3M and they explained how how to paint it and to do the flame treatment that I showed in the video. So that's how I came up with that guys and it's definitely working, you know, without just gouging it, gouging on the thing and seeing, but it's definitely holding. So alright guys. Thanks for watching. I wanted to do one more test just to kind of show you, you know, if this, the difference between the treated and non-treated. That line kind of represents, you know, where the treatment starts and stops. So here we go. I'm going to rip these off and see what happens here. I don't know if you can see, I tore some of the paint off there. That's in the non-treated area. And then this is in the treated area. Make sure it's on there nice and good. See if I can get anything off here. Yeah, look at that, guys. Nothing. Just wanted to show that. And I'm going to show you the other side, too. That I was doing a bunch of different tests where it wasn't treated. And I was able to pull all the paint off. So. I wanted to talk about a couple more things when you do the edges make sure if you do decide to do this make sure you do the flame treatment around the edge you know and back here so you you know you're not getting underneath the paint you know you don't want to have just right up to the lip you want to roll it around the edge and then also this is a flat paint by the way and i would recommend that when you know no matter what you do, when you're done, you go over it with a clear, you know, because this is on the outside. It's not on the inside, you know, and so it's, it's, it's not protected by the, you know, by the plastic, you know, the paint isn't. So you definitely, you know, when, when I'm done with this thing, I'm definitely going to be, you know, going over with clear. I still haven't decided on what I'm going to paint it yet. I, I just, I just really don't know, but you can see it. So, just just wanted to put that out there. So, all right, see ya.